Good morning, folks. We've got articles on the disaster cycles today. You and I are going to have a little heart to heart. And there was an awakening on our star, which is both beautiful and non-threatening. So we begin at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet at the start. Coronal holes turning through and their solar wind will arrive over the weekend. But this morning, eruptive behaviors began ramping up at the departing limb. Both north and south, we had high C-class flare events and erupting filament on the south as well. Beautiful, none of this is heading at Earth. So let's jump back in time to the beginning of the last ice age and find that the Dansgaard Oshkar events were kicking back then as well and affecting major climate patterns. This is the lasting, enduring pattern on the sun and the earth. For reasons that literally make no sense, they call that 1500 year cycle the bond cycle when it's during the modern interglacial, the Holocene. But it is the same 1500 year solar super flare cycle that we've gone over in great detail with the journals. They also found here the longer grand minimum cycles, Brays, which are also called the Haustat cycle. They are also clear in the data. And FYI, that Bray or Haustat cycle is most often listed as 2400 years, not 2200, which makes those longer cycles sync up at the major 12,000 year cycle as well. Huge names from huge universities on this one demanding a rewrite to how stars work that's magnetically focused. Now while it strains credulity to imagine any observing observer can't begin to imagine where this fits in the bigger picture, I want to take a moment to comment on some of your comments. You guys diss universities when I say an author is from here or there. You diss NASA when their scientists author papers. But the true fact is that in those populations of tens of thousands, there are shills, there are parrots, and there are those fighting on the inside. They are how every last thing you know about the disaster cycle came to light. They are the ones killing dark matter, proposing more magnetic paradigms, showing how the sun forces the climate and the details of Earth's disaster cycle. If I'm sharing a paper and I plug who's who, and you have an issue with the house from which they came, keep it in its place. Recognize why that person and that paper was shown in the show, and maybe try to take a moment to stifle your negativity when it's clearly a moment to celebrate a quiet academic revolution. Furthermore, when it's me who is shredding something, and it hits you like, aw, I like him, or aw, why'd he have to do that? This is why. If you haven't seen our philosophy on community self-scrutiny, I'd say that is required viewing for 2022 that's about to begin here. Last but not least on the article front, speaking of magnetic action on stars, the rapid burster mechanism described here is probably the best description of what happens on a vastly longer time scale with the sun and the galactic current sheet, the buildup, the coupling, and the connection, followed by the outburst. Right now, as we saw in the full documentary, the sun and entire solar system are beginning to change already, but the major coupling and the sun and galaxies version of what they like to describe as magnetic reconnection is forthcoming, bringing the zenith and crescendo of the disaster and the end of this age. Folks, today is the last day to get on the founder wall of Observer Ranch. Who knows when the climate topic will get me kicked off YouTube, and no, I don't run to gentle echo chamber social media when the going gets tough. There won't be any more of our big conferences around the country. This is the new home of the Observers. Its major construction will take the lion's share of the year, and when it's over, I'd love to shake your hand, take a picture with you by your name, and thank you because we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.